getting too personal, a quick update on how the First Lady is doing, and do you hope it spurs other women to get checked out as well? You know, I, I would say um, she is a very, very strong woman. Um, and uh, it's, it's not an easy thing when this happens because it's just you know, your life is going, then all of a sudden this is something that, that puts that in the balance. Uh, and so it's not been easy just kind of as we've had to deal with that as a family, obviously, particularly for her. Um, but I think she's, she's basically come to the, uh, the point of, okay, this is what I'm going to have to deal with. And, you know, we've been in and out of getting medical already, and she's like the healthiest person in the whole hospital. I mean, like, and so I think she, her view is, is better me than somebody who may not be able to deal with it as way, as way I, better, better me than, God forbid, other people that, that are close to her. And so that's just kind of her, her spirit. Uh, uh, you know, I have faith. Uh, I got faith in the big guy upstairs, and I've got faith in her. And, uh, and I know that, you know, this is a bad break, but, but she's got an awful lot uh, to live for uh, for the rest of her life. And, you know, we've got a, we've got a lot of kids we've got to raise. And so it's, it's, it's tough, but um, I think she, um, uh, what it can serve as, I think she just, you know, wanted to be honest with people because she's been, she has initiatives. I mean, and some of these things that she may not be able to do in the immediate future that maybe she'll pass the baton to me, um, you know, but she's going to be back. So she just wanted people to kind of know that. But I do think that the lesson is, I mean, it wasn't like she was in a lot of pain. I mean, these, these um, screenings and the things that you go can really, really be life-saving. And so I would just encourage folks, you know, not just women with breast cancer, but, but men who have, you know, there's certain things that, that we're more susceptible to. Uh, make sure that you go in and do that when, you know, when the physicians tell you to. She just had a feeling she needed to do it. And so, so thank God that, um, you know, that, that she did. But, uh, you know, so we've got, we've got, a, we've got a, a road ahead. Um, you know, our kids are young enough that, that they don't really know what's going on. You know, my mother uh, is a breast cancer survivor. I was in elementary school, so I was older than our kids are now. But I can tell you, like, it was, it's a total blur to me. I mean, I know I remember going to that, but I don't remember any of the details about what it was even. I was just too young to appreciate it at the time. So our kids really have no concept uh, of what's going on. And, um, you know, in some respects, um, that's, uh, that's something that will hopefully not, not provide any type of a load on them. But, but she, 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 she fights. Uh, she's tough. And, uh, and again, um, you know, just shows you the type of person she is. I mean, she's uh, uh, basically resigned that, you know, better that she has to go through it than others who may not be able to handle it as well. And that's just, um, that's why I love her. She's an exceptional person. Thanks, everybody.